She's captured my heart. I'm absolutely head over heels for this black vulture. Wanna say hi? <laughs> she has a penchant for zooming around and playing and adventuring with us. <laughs> she doesn't really like other black vultures. She definitely recognizes us as her people. Hello, Bash. <laughs> We are Robin and Kayla with the American Eagle Foundation, and this is Bash's story for GeoBeats. She was being circled by coyotes. Farmers discovered her on the ground, and she shortly found her way here to us at the American Eagle Foundation. She arrived with a right humeral fracture. She would almost certainly have been caught by the coyotes if not for human kindness. The bond that we build with Bash from the very beginning was built on the positivity of what we could offer her. Vultures especially choose their people. And when you have the trust of the vultures, it's amazing. Often she insists on spending what we call lap time with her human handlers, where she essentially uses us as a perch and then just hangs out. There have been moments when she's gotten a little bit away from us and she'll kind of look around and realize and crouch and be like, wait, <laughs> I don't know. Are you coming? When we started encouraging Bash to come from her pen out into the main part of the yard, she was very hesitant of the door frame. It's darker inside than it is outside. It would appear quite a bit more daunting. Oh my God, so good. <laughs> We care for her through federal and state permits. She had to get a veterinarian to sign the paperwork to indicate that she would not survive and thrive on her own in the wild. Bash is absolutely not our pet. At the end of the day, she's still a wild animal. She chooses how much or little she wants to interact with us. She's largely in control of her own diet. Her favorite food is definitely quail. We joke that mice are her vegetables because mice are very complete nutritionally and good for her, but she's like, I don't want to eat these. We expose her to fruits. So far, she has denied us every time. We do have another black vulture, Cujo, who loves cantaloupe. She loves watermelon. Cujo came to us 17 years ago, and she is what we call a full human imprint. She does not recognize herself as a black vulture. When she sees people, she sees herself. She's like, oh, that's what I am. Because they don't recognize each other as the same species, we wouldn't probably introduce them to each other. Look how good! Black vultures can develop a pretty expansive vocabulary. Cujo recognizes the term blue, and she can do some color recognition and gesture with her beak to something blue. It's been a real privilege getting to know Bash, seeing her kind of open up from this shy, inquisitive, young black vulture. I did this spunky, sassy... <laughs> Independent. <laughs> brave and bold black vulture that we know and love today. If she wants to fly, she can. She's just not as graceful as you would expect. Two common myths about vultures is that when they're circling, it always means they're after a dead animal and that they will wait and circle overhead for something to die. Typically, when you see vultures circling, they're just taking advantage of something called a thermal, which are these pockets of hot air that ride into the sky and essentially serve as an elevator to higher heights for them. And up there, they may be just moving to a new location to roost. Some of the behaviors we look for with bash are the typical bird of prey contentment indicators like grooming her feathers, what we call feeking, where she's wiping her beak on things, rousing, where she kind of shakes out her feathers to rearrange them, and general engagement with us. So if she is nervous or uncomfortable, we'll immediately change the environment around her to make her feel more comfortable. Vultures often get an unfair reputation as being dirty, nasty, or even mean. They do a ton of good for our environment. They're specially adapted to stop the spread of diseases, including anthrax, rabies, botulism, due to the acidity of their stomachs. Kayla and I are both positively dedicated uh, to staying with Bash. Bash is one year old, and we have another black vulture under our care named Buzz, who is currently 34 years old. So she has a long and happy life ahead of her with us. I've never met a vulture that was not obsessed with shoelaces. Bash. <laughs>